There's a lot of benefit to sparring in a martial art. In fact, some might even argue that it's essential to the overall martial arts experience. In this video, I'll be talking about some of the sparring formats that I've tried and which ones I enjoy the most. Point system sparring is where I started my journey in Ernie's. These are the competitions that I would initially participate in. In general, point sparring matches award a point to the first player that lands a strike in each skirmish. Some formats will have the referee break the fight to award a point, while others would let the player separate themselves to keep their natural momentum going. Players race to a set amount of points to win or play for as much points as they can within a time limit. Ten-point must sparring systems have players continually go at each other within a set time. Points and victories are decided similar to a boxing match where the two fighters are rated by judges based on their overall performance. This format is commonly associated with live sticks and heavy armor, but has variations with other weapons as well such as minimal armor and padded sticks. Now those two formats are competition formats and I've tried a couple of variations to them. The next two formats have less to do with competition and more to do with personal growth. Real contact stick fighting or dog brother style sparring as some might call it is sparring with minimal armor, usually just headgear and gloves, and real sticks. From what I've seen and from what I've experienced, Winning metrics here are a bit more personal. When I tried this, the matches were limited to 2 minutes and we pretty much just go at each other until time is up. Unlike the sports competition formats I've tried, we can kick, punch, grapple, and incorporate techniques that would normally not be allowed in a sports event. The goal here isn't necessarily to beat your sparring partner, but to gain knowledge from the match. We're testing ourselves and we're testing each other. At least that's how I see it. Right now though, my favorite form of sparring is a variation of point sparring where we're only going for clean strikes. In this format, I don't just want to hit first, I want to be the only one to land a clean and unanswered strike in each encounter. It's a very Largo mana range oriented mode of sparring since we're trying to hit and not get hit. I personally enjoy the pacing of these types of matches, especially when sparring with peers. For me, it's not as competitive a type of sparring and it's more for personal growth and learning. Now these are just some quick overviews to the different sparring formats that I've tried. I'm sure I can make an entire video out of each one. Actually, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do that. And also each one can have several variations to them with changes to the scoring metrics, um, winning metrics, time, maximum points, and so on. If I were to be asked what the best sparring format in FMA is, then I would say it would really depend on what your goals are. For example, if you're a sports athlete and you want to win big competitions, then there would be some benefit to specializing in a specific format like point sparring systems or 10-point must systems, depending on the league that you want to join. Um, personally, where I am right now, I'm at a phase in my journey where I'm exploring, experimenting, and having fun. So the best format for me is actually just to try as many formats as possible because that way I gain more experience. So it really depends on what you're looking for. Having said all that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below your thoughts and as always, I'll see you in the next video.